The 6.4 magnitude earthquake struck while most in Puerto Rico were still sleeping at 424 in the morning. Images showed the extensive damage left behind. Homes, buildings and houses of worship destroyed. Hector Rodriguez was on the island making his way to the airport from his hotel when the quake struck. I uh, got into the uh, elevator, hit the, uh, I was in the 11th floor, hit the lobby button, ran around the middle of the ride, elevator stops, lights shut off. I'm thinking, what's going on? And all of a sudden, the elevator starts shaking. Rodriguez says the hotel's generator brought power back to the elevator, and he luckily made it out. But the quake caused an island-wide power outage. And the Uber going to the airport, you can look at the other hotels and the other high-rises, completely dark. Street lights were out, everything was out. Now, the airport, of course, has its own generators, so that was lit nicely. But um, yeah, you can see how the buildings were all dark. There have been dozens of aftershocks. Well, right now they're out in the street. They're not in the house because they're not, they don't want something to, you know, another earthquake and then the house will fall on them. Local grassroots organizations are already preparing to send help. We're going to collect items that are necessities, like immediate necessities, of course, water, food, any blanket items, medicine, of course. There is the concern of the infrastructure. Right? We saw in the aftermath of Maria uh, how infrastructure was severely damaged, and now in this case, again, power becomes an issue. 